what's happening guys Monday morning I had a day off um, I'm just dicking around in the garage I'm starting to clean up some stuff that's all the uh, cancerous parts that I cut out of the car I gotta clean this up here I think I'm gonna throw this door in the shed for now and maybe the fender is gonna accompany it so I can get around this car and get it down um, do not adjust your computer monitors has Fatster Cat gone out of his mind maybe maybe not since I am going to be doing a flame style theme on this car um, this is my first feeble attempt at flames granted I've never painted flames on anything I burn things but I've never really painted anything and uh, speaking of burning uh, Tom's wonderful world um, that was a scary situation there and uh, I'm glad he got a he got it under control and he got his thing sorted out because that could have been uh, a catastrophe so uh, I'm also going to go out and get a couple of extinguishers. I don't have them, but I do welding in this uh, garage, which essentially is my house. So um, it's not detached. So if this garage or car goes up, the house goes with it. So um, I'm going to get a couple of extinguishers. There we go. And this is straight enamel. I painted the rims of the Camaro too. Um, I'm going to use this. So it'll be orange and red. And I will probably pinstripe with uh, just some enamel it's a flat, oh, it's a satin black right there uh, when I cross the dots but I'll try to do some blending and stuff I know it's uh, sometimes it gets tedious when you're just on one project over and over and over and over and over again uh, and I want to try to break up the monotony so I'm going to try to do this and uh, I mean I actually went out and cleaned the rims up and painted them silver <laughs> to give it a little hot rod look. It actually looks pretty good so um, yeah I gotta finish cleaning that up I'm gonna prime that up and we're gonna see how it looks so uh, alright first coat of primer a uh, little humid today um, yeah we had a great weekend but a little bit of rain but that's fine I'm not complaining um, yeah I'm gonna let this dry and I'm not really going to sand it too much. I'm just going to hit it with 180 or maybe 220. Yeah, I mean, it's just a little experiment here to see how it comes out. So uh, that's that. And bring me back when I get more to show. All right. Peace. All right, guys. Got the first coat on. Uh, I'm going to let it flash it. I'm going to hit it again. I'm wearing it this time. All right. So uh, we'll... Uh, Give it a look see afterwards, alright? Okay, I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> this 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 is just a, it's just a generic skull. There's nothing fancy about it. It's just this is against an experiment. Um, I'm gonna try the ghost skull thing now. Uh, later on down the road I'll actually get some stencils that look kinda good. Um, I'm actually going to try using this little touch-up gun as an air, airbrush type of deal. I actually have a couple of uh, airbrushes, but I'm not set up for it. So uh, this is just, like I say, it's just messing around. I was going to use orange, but the orange kicked in the can. I had the lid that was kind of open. It wasn't much left, so we're all gelled out. So we'll just go with the red and the black. I had some black left over from my pickup. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out all these... Uh, the eye sockets in the nose and maybe do a little bit on the teeth and um, I'm gonna take it and I'm just gonna I might even make them smaller I don't know place them randomly throughout the flames and uh, then afterwards see I already actually shadowed in where the flame crosses over the other one and all the bottoms are all shadowed in I don't know if the camera's picking it up looks like it is though but now I'm just gonna I might make a small one it seems like it's a little too big so I'll probably make a small little skull and uh, we'll just lay them in a random pattern in and around the flames. Maybe I'll just put them in this big section here. Then I'm going to grab some more of that red. <clears throat> I'm going to over reduce the crap out of it and try to make it transparent. And then uh, 
I'll just go over the top of it and try to bury the, the skulls deep inside that uh, red. And then I have some clear right there, that little quart container here, a little bit of hardener left. Um, there's not much, but it's enough to get rid of, and I'm tired of having like just very little cans of stuff hanging around and try to use it all up. This is not about body work. I mean, a lot of guys are going to say, oh, well, you know, you can see all the... It's, it's not about that. It's about practicing and trying to get some sort of practice on doing flames and stuff because if this is the theme I'm going for I gotta I gotta I gotta learn how to do it and um, hopefully I can get my little airbrush kits up and running and um, work like that uh, I was actually talking to the auto body supplier the uh, paint supplier about candies and stuff and uh, they do they do carry some uh, I think SEM has a brand they have house of color which is really expensive but uh, I have this little setup here like I say it's a harbor freight it doesn't want to not behaving um, I gotta get all the hoses for it to get it hooked up and you know volume air volume air, I mean uh, material air and uh, see how it goes it comes with this little bottle and it comes with the little tiny cup which I don't know we'll see but yeah I got two of these they were on sale I picked them up Let's see how it goes um, but for now like I say I'm gonna trace off the skulls and uh, see, see how it looks like that I mean I think it's a little too big I'm gonna make them a little bit smaller so start over again alright guys be back in a bit alright guys a little black goes a long way Wow, it's my attempt at real flames. Man, I had a, a homemade jig rig. <laughs> Look at this stupid thing. Uh, I gotta watch some more Ed Hub's videos because um, I gotta see how he does the patterns. I think down here it started to get a little bit better. But uh, I'm trying to contain all this stuff within the flame. I don't have any white so I can't like uh, make it pop. But essentially that's all the skulls all stacked up and I got some set way back and you know, uh, I started up here as you can tell. They're really prevalent and don't look too good. So I'm going to try to over reduce the red now and try to bury all this stuff deep, deep, deep inside. Almost kind of like a ghost effect. And then I'll hit it with clear, pull out the masking, and then we'll take a look at it finished. So uh, I don't know. Um, my only dilemma is now doing a matte finish with the real gloss on it. I don't know how Rob's uh, transitions are, but I hope. Uh, I hope mine's not there's not like a hard edge there when I do mine um, I know it's going to be pinstriped and uh, maybe that will cover that hard edge of clear to the mat but let's hope uh, it might end up all being cleared so uh, we'll see how it goes alright so uh, experiment see how things go now I'm going to over reduce the red try to get transparent um, and try to bury all these homemade skulls. All right, peace. Okay, guys. Uh, the camera's really picking up the skulls, but if you're if you're looking at it, not through the camera, they're very faint. They're buried way back deep. So uh, that's an over-reduced red. Um, as you can see, it goes. It went on really glossy. So uh, kind of like what you see down here is what you see. Like I'm looking at the panel straight on and I can hardly see the skulls but on the camera it's just picking it up. Uh, even back here where I stand I look back I can't see the skulls too much. Very faint but the camera just picking it up perfect. So uh, yeah I don't know. Uh, when I post this man you guys don't don't make fun of me too much. Uh, only kidding. But uh. Alright guys, that's the uh, second coat of clear. I'm not going to do any more. Um, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, like I said before, you can barely see them looking at them, like, through, not through the camera. And uh, through the camera, it's really picking it up. So I think during, like, a nice sunny day, it would really show. But, that's, uh, that's my uh, attempt at flames. So I'm going to unmask everything. And see how it looks against the panel and I'll be back yeah.
Yep. And as I pan to it, guys, don't laugh. What? I'm talking to the to the YouTube garage. That's it. I'm looking at it in hindsight now. Um, like this look lick could have came down further back, and the shadow line where the one overlaps the other one could have been a little done a little bit better. But essentially, that's what I'm going for. Um, a lot of this stuff, like I said, watching YouTube, Ed Hubs, all these guys, and uh. I mean, there's a whole bunch of trash in it. I mean, the conditions weren't... It was, this was just uh, a look-go-see. And uh, let me go pan away from it. I got an awesome backing track today. And my brother here jamming on a guitar. So that's essentially what it would look. And this would be a continuation across the fender. And I would have some on the hoods. But um, yeah, that's it. So, uh, essentially, that's kind of like a matte black back here, too. So, uh, we'd be looking for something like that. And, like, this lit here, I could have came up more and did a little wooby. But this is my first time ever doing flames. Ever. And I, I'm not kidding. This is the first time I ever did flames. So, um, I know I can get better at it. And, and we can, uh, we, here we go, we. Yeah, we can get it better. All my personalities. So... Steve, take us out with some blues! This is Mark from the second gen garage to all my brothers out there and my brother in there playing guitar. Um, peace, fellas. this big show off at least I can do flames <laughs> all right guys peace